Welcome to ASL 34, a new kind of foe, and uh, in this episode we will do the bombardment of board 32. So we need to do some die rolls to determine what hex rows are spared from the bombardment. Uh, I also I can also show you that now it is all set up. So I tried with the Soviets to place them in hexes where they will get the minimum effect of the bombardment. So they are in buildings, they are in foxholes, and so on and so forth. With one exception, and that is the hidden gun. Uh, he's in woods, which is a bad thing, but he do have emplacement, so it's still a minus one if he's not spared. So then the Germans uh, looked at this setup and determined that the, the big attack will come in on this side because there were fewer Soviet units there. And then the idea on this side is to just scout ahead with mainly with half squads, <coughs> a few squads in support. Uh, the reason for this is I want these guys to move as quickly as possible. I know I have 11 turns and then just clear the board like this. Uh, it will become problematic to get over the bridge and the stream. Uh, but I reckon that the force over here is so strong that they can scare away anything. And also I have a, a fire group here with medium machine gun and the heavy machine gun that can also help with getting the Soviets to, to get back into the woods here so that I can cross the stream. And then the plan is to have the last stand over here by doing that and having these half squads over here, I can possibly uh, disrupt some of his routes and so on when he's going, when he's retreating away from the assault from here. Okay, so that is the plan. So over to the die rolling. So you roll six die rolls, uh, plus six on the last three, and the indicated. Uh, hex rows uh, is uh, is spared from the bombardment. So here goes. So f row five, and I will mark that like this. I was thinking. So these guys, they are spared, uh, but it should be up there. No there um, so everything that line crosses will not take a moral check so next die roll it's a one so row one is spared and that would be like there but of course I need it to be further this way whoops Why isn't it working with me? There we go. So those guys are spared. And the third die roll is a six. So this row is also spared. There. Okay. Then we have plus six on the last three. So that's a nine. So row nine, don't get any bombardment. They are spared. 
and plus 6 again, that's a 12, so that is outside of the area, so one less spared. And uh, 8 is also spared. And that would be there. But of course we need to move it this way. So, that is the spared hexes. So now there is a two morale check for each not spared hex. And to start out, uh, and this is of course other in another way if you play face to face, I will do it as if I was doing it face to face. I got a tip to roll for um, the um, the hidden guys first so that the opponent cannot tell what hex row it will be in and then I will just go like this uh, hex row by hex row so uh, here we have a 2mc but it is modified with a minus one. Plus two emplacement becomes a minus one dice roll modifier and plus one because of the woods. So here's the two moral, uh, one morale check then. And he breaks. So that will uh, take him out on the map and he's broken. Okay. So now uh, I go row A, there is no units there. Also you roll for building bridges. Uh, then we go uh, row B, there is nothing there. C, building, okay. So wooden building, morale of eight. Uh, and that is a normal moral trick. So that passes, no no problem. Uh, and that was that one, of course, because this one was spared, of course. Then we have uh, this guy. So that's a two morale check, but minus two for the wooden building. Uh, and, but the building takes the morale check first. So first, eight morale check for the building. And the building is rubbled. Uh, so one level of the building will be rubbled. Had this been more than one level, then the top level would have rubbled. In this case, the whole building rubbles and then any occupants die. So we have the first loss for them. And we also have uh, rubble. Uh, in in that hex. So we have a rubble building there. Then we continue and here is not spared but nobody there. There. This is spared. This is spared. So nothing there. This guy needs to take a morale check but there is a wooden building so eight morale. Building passes, so then it's a morale check for the squad. The squad pins. Uh, so that's okay. And since they, if they become break or become pinned, they have to be completely revealed no matter of any melee inside. Uh, this one is spared, nothing else down there. Then we go to the next row, then we have this guy and he's in the building. So this is a stone building, so that have a morale of nine. So building passes, so then it is a minus one morale check for the leader. Passes and the squad uh, minus one becomes pinned. Uh, 
So he is revealed and pinned, but the leader is not pinned and still concealed. Uh, next row, uh, nothing, no units, no building or bridges. This one is spared in the next row. Row I, nothing there. J, nothing there. K, uh, he is spared, so nothing there. L, nothing there. M, this is spared. This is not spared, but he is in Marsh, so it's a minus two on the two moral checks, so it's a normal moral check. But he breaks anyway. Okay, then we have N, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. This one also in Marsh, so it's a normal moral check. Oh, and that is a heat of battle. Uh, so, uh, plus two for being uh, Soviet, but I don't think it is because it's a partisan, so it's only plus one for being partisan. So, plus one on Hita Battle, and that is 12, so he is disrupted. Uh, and then comes an interesting question, because uh, it says that if you fail a uh, morale check and roll doubles less than 12, then you also get casualty reduction. So then it has to be determined if uh, breaking due to a heat of battle dice roll indicates you have failed the morale check or if it doesn't. But for now, I will leave it at that uh, and I will check with higher authorities on this and see what they say. All right, so then we have row P. He's in Marsh, so it's a normal morale check. And he's pinned, so he loses concealment. Uh, row Q, he's in spared hex, so nothing else. R, nobody there. S, uh, spared. U, spared. Uh, but we do have a bridge there, so nine morale. He's good, or the bridge is good anyway. Then we have nothing. Uh, we have nothing, we have nothing, but this guy needs to take a moral check, and then he have a minus one on the moral check, because it's uh, minus four for Foxhole, uh, plus two, two moral check, plus one, Woods, so it's a minus one moral check, so he's good. And finally, we have this guy, and he's actually in the building. So the building first, eight morale, passes. And then the squad, normal moral check for the leader. Leader breaks, and the squad uh, is pinned. And therefore, they lose concealment. And then the squad don't need to take a little loss morale check because he is already pinned. All right, so that is the bombardment for the game. So this is what the Germans are up against. We can delete those. So I will leave it at that and uh, hope to see you for the first uh, German play turn and uh, also see what this gives. All right, so that's it for now. Bye for now, hope to see you soon.